It's now my great pleasure to introduce the Vice President and Federal Counselor of the Swiss Confederation, Johann Schneider Amann. Uh, he has been, he is at present Federal Counselor with uh, responsibility for economic affairs, for education and research. He was elected to the Federal Council in 2010. Before that, he'd held a number of posts in government and in the private sector. He's been the leader of the Free Democratic Party. He's held various positions on boards of companies, and he's led the engineering company, the Amman Group. And he was trained uh, in the Technical University uh, in Zurich, and he also has an MBA from INSEAD. Ladies and gentlemen, would you, uh, with me, greet the Vice President of the Swiss Federation, Mr. Schneider Ammann. A great speech. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Proudly small is the motto you have chosen for this year's symposium. With this, another saying crosses my mind, namely, small is beautiful. I'm not referring here to the St. Gallen Symposium and by no means to the extent of its influence. What I do refer to is the fact that a country like Switzerland certainly not one of the big ones in terms either of size of its population or its territory, is nonetheless a world leader when measured by economic power, innovation, and competitiveness. Dear Prime Ministers and Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure and an honor for me to convey to you the very best wishes of the Swiss government on the occasion of the opening of the 45th St. Gallen Symposium. I gladly accept your invitation to share with you some personal thoughts on the topic you have chosen. As a representative of a small country, one might say that I have the embarrassment of choice for I have only to dip into the many successes that make up our history. There are many possible explanations for Switzerland's strength. In addition to our direct democracy, one particularly stands out, the liberal nature of our economic legislation. Our free market economy has provided fertile soil for a multitude of extremely innovative, small and mid-sized enterprises. To grow in the company of a small number of major corporations, all highly competitive in the international arena, evolving into a truly potent national economy. This liberal economic framework goes hand in hand with a culture of social partnership that has existed for some 80 years. A partnership based on trust between employer and employee that makes it possible to avoid the waste that occurs through protracted labor disputes, also avoiding overregulation. Our motto being contractual agreement rather than legislation. This approach helps considerably to boost an economy's productivity. Another important aspect of our success I would like to mention is our unique dual educational system, which by including vocational apprenticeship unites theoretical knowledge with hands-on training in an ideal manner. The success of this dual system is guaranteed by the parallel ex existence of high caliber world-class universities completing an educational system 
that enables Switzerland to perform as an exceptionally competitive location for workplace expertise and academic research. This success does not express itself merely in a high GDP. Equally important in my view is our low rate of unemployment at around 3%, particularly in so far as young people are concerned. When I mention high caliber universities, I do not only refer merely to our federal institutes of technology in Zurich and Lausanne, I'm also thinking of universities like the one here in St. Gallen, which with just 8,000 students has managed to establish a reputation as a leading public business university in Europe. Here too, we may say, small and beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, I would be unwise, naive, and indeed arrogant to sing the praises of smallness in an uncritical manner. For there is another side to the coin. The small usually have little leverage. The small can now nothing of economies of scale. Moreover, the small can be open to be attacked. This is particularly clear in our country today, notably in those sections of our economy that suffer from the strength of the Swiss franc. And this is almost the whole economy. The prosperity of a, of a small nation like ours is directly dependent on the success of our export economy. Our highly qualified export industries and our tourism sector are today under tremendous pressure. Even so, I'm convinced that Switzerland will remain an attractive business location. Assuming that our smallness continues to be supported by an extremely efficient international networking. In a globalized world in which national boundaries count for little, we cannot hope to succeed without cooperation across these same boundaries, neither econo economically nor politically. Let's put it simply. Small can be beautiful, but only if you are not alone. Switzerland's way forward as a small nation with an open economy, as well as through involvement in international organizations, such as the WTO, above all requires an active bilateral and multilateral policy promoting open markets. With our most important trading partners, the European Union, we have achieved reciprocal market access and cooperation through bilateral agreements. These agreements are indispensable for Switzerland. With many other partners, we have concluded free trade agreements. In this way, we have no need to fear any big predators as the, as the agreement with China has demonstrated. Treaties provide accountability with legal certainty and thus the basis for solid economic and political partnership on which small nations are particularly dependent. It is on this basis that an economy creates prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, Allow me to sum up. Our small nation obtains its strength from its direct democracy, from providing a liberal economic framework, from social partnership, and thanks to a superior education system and a stable political multi-parties government. 
So we have no need to fear losing our inde independence, the independence, for example, to seek as an ally souls we want as allies and friends simply because we want to and not because we have to. That is the true sovereignty, that is our freedom. And that is something worth fighting for each and every day. Ladies and gentlemen, to the extent that you are helping to develop Switzerland's international network and contributing to our good reputation throughout the world, the leaders gathered here for the St. Gallen Symposium are helping to ensure that Switzerland will be able to continue calling itself proudly small. You have assembled here 200 talented young people from our 50 nations who, thanks to you, will remain connected to our country and its values for all their lives. I shall be honored in just a few minutes to present the best of them with the St. Gallen Wings of Excellence Award. Wishing you worthwhile discussions and fruitful exchanges, I thank you for your attention.